Alright, so, so we're good. Uh, uh, okay. uh, yeah. so I, I just I uh, I just don't want this is a free foot buffer. I don't want to sit on all the side of the road way out of the well we'll see the area to go put in your fence all that. I know, but that's just him. No, I wouldn't even say but you you have enough for uh, John for any of these waivers that they're requesting? The variances? No, the, the waivers. There's a number yeah, of waivers. waivers. Other than the survey, I don't have a problem. With the oh. Okay, all right. And I believe Mr. Craig is about to hand me the survey. Sorry. Um, I got one for you, one for two. You're going to publish the new meeting. Not notify, but publish uh, just the publication, restaurant and bar. Restaurant and bar. Two twenty-seven, seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. The consensus opinion of the board is we're going to reconvene seven o'clock on June twenty-seventh. That's a Wednesday, the last Wednesday of the month. Um, we yeah. hope that everyone all the players can. We're ready. We're ready. Just, I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. No, no. Motion on the floor? Yep. My motion. Second. Motion made and seconded that we reconvene this matter and on June the 27th, 7 o'clock. That's the last Wednesday in June. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Ayes have it and we will reconvene the matter. <coughs> Applicant, you're on the record. You're waiving any right to any automatic um, approvals. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thanks, yes. guys. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Raise your right hand. Sound you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give this board tonight is truthful and accurate to the best of your knowledge. Okay. Mr. Chairman, this is a, an application for what looks to be the, the tellers are trying to put on an addition on the property uh, located on Andrea Road. It's a corner property, and because of the nature of the uh, addition, they're going to require bulk variances. I believe that a side yard variance. Uh, is, is this R1 or R1? Yes, R1. And I believe R1, our ordinance requires for side yard variances uh, 14 feet in an aggregate, but no less than seven feet. Uh, 
it looks like the one south western portion of the uh, of the addition is going to come five feet six inches is that correct mr keller did, did you did you figure it out or did you have a, uh, a uh, survey Understand that, folks. That if uh, the board would doesn't and appears that this could be, you could have two front yards where 25 feet is required by our ordinance. Okay. You would be requesting uh, 23, so you'd be getting a front yard. You're, you're going to be requesting this board to consider a front yard variance from 25 to 23 feet, okay. and uh, side yard variances yeah. for this one quarter, uh, five point right. yeah. five and five and a half. We also. Um, We took pictures of neighbors' homes. Um, there's three in our immediate area, one street over that have done the same type of um, coming out. So uh, the one, both two of the homes, or all three of the homes, are corner homes that had gotten the, you know, just to show what it would look like. You know, we took pictures for the board to say that's the same type of areas that we're asking for. Is the size of the addition critical for a reason? Um, I'm sorry. It's, it's a split level. 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 You say take the addition and just push it forward? Yeah. Well, that would take that 23 feet and reduce it even further because you're going closer to single. You would, you would be you would be, you would be fixing the side guard oh, okay. and making the front yard worse. So no. Personally, I would rather have a, a side guard. It's only a foot and a half. It's a bad idea. Right. Right. It's only a foot and a half. I understand correctly. Point taken. <laughs> So, John, if John, is there anything else that you did? Um, uh, uh, we, did, we did not do a formal review because it's a, it's a whole variance from the president. So, I think it's just a matter of those two variances before he's acting. So, David, the only thing the only thing we're here for tonight on this is basically just for the variance? Just for a bulk variance. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no. front yard and the aggregate side yard. Side. He's short on that that's southern side. We don't have any site plan issues yeah. to deal with? No, the, the only thing I would remind the folks, since this was an old survey uh, and it was hand drawn on there, if the, if the board is willing to accept this rendering as, as, as the, the, the rendering that you're going to act on, remember, folks, if your builder makes a mistake and goes over, right. okay, that, that could be a problem. So you, they, they could condition these bulk variances on you, you getting an as built. Exactly. Uh, when it's done, you know, the surveyor comes right. out and he measures again. Right. Okay. And then that, I'm just saying, they don't, they may not make that a condition, mm -hmm. but you, know, you don't want it when you get, right. your builder gets out there and he goes over another six inches, but you'd be in Okay. 
Typically, for uh, Mr. Chairman and Board, uh, when there is a uh, peculiarity of a piece of property that um, has, well, there always is usually a corner properties, um, you do have the right to uh, to make exceptions and find that there's a, because the contour of the, the, uh, of the property and the, what the folks want to do, that there would be a hardship in not bringing them mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the relief. It is only a foot and a half, and it would be a foot and two feet. Yeah. Um, I think Anthony, we're, they would require seven feet on that on that southerly corner, and they're proposing five feet six inches. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. So I think they're short. Put the hand. They need a foot and a half. Put the half on the side, two in the front. And two in the two in the front. Two in the front. Because it's yeah, two in front. Yeah, twenty-five. Yeah, that's what I said. 25 to 23 and five and a half to seven. Right. That is the front. Right. It looks like you have a pretty fluid design here. It looks like it looks like you're trying to go fluid right with the footprint of the house. So I'm going to look first. Yeah. This. I don't have one question. I can just show this too. How did you wind up here? Don't you go to the show to give you a room or do this? Did he tell you come here? Yeah. The building. He did. For the variance? Yes. The, builder, the builder, the contractor. That was my question. Oh, this is your home? Oh, you're, you're adding this? Yes. Okay. Their house is going to be in concert with this yeah. house. Yes, that's exactly what we're trying to Any other questions from any member of the board? Yes. Is that a lawyer? Yes. Uh, no, it's a member of the board. Yes. When a member of the board gets a look at the big house, that will be leading up to the public if they have any questions for you. Okay. You're entitled to ask them. Is that good, Bobby? Anyone have any questions for Mr. Keller? Please stand forward and state your case. Your name and address. Mr. Chairman, the city is known from the vote, Mr. Steeple, on this matter, and make a motion that we close the public portion of the meeting. Second. I have a motion and a second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, Public portion on this matter, the Keller application is now closed. Do I hear a motion? I make a motion that we. Uh, Grant the approval for the variance by Mr. Mrs. Keller for the front yard and side yard setbacks as laid out in their site plan session. survey. We have a motion and a second. Roll call, call, please. Dickinson? Yes. Beatrice? Yes. Al Yes. Clayhammer? Yes. Overton? Yes. Lucian? Yes. Dunn? Yes. Alfroy? Yes. Chas? Yes. Good night. Uh, you have a position? Make it touch. Okay. Thank you. 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 Good evening, sir. I would have answered your name, but I don't have a copy of the application. Are you Mr. St. John? Yes, I am. Okay. Welcome. Mr. St. John, are you ready? Good evening. Yeah, raise your right hand. You solemnly swear or affirm that the uh, 
testimony you're about to give this board tonight is truthful and after the best of your knowledge? I do. Okay. Ed, are you the executor or of the estate of Joe St. John? Yes, I have. Where the, uh, the applicant submitted a plan for a minor subdivision property located at 360 Union Avenue, um, Block 124, Lot 1. I don't believe he's requesting any, any bulk variances at this time. Is that correct or not? You just want to sell the lot? Don't want to sell the lot. Did you get a copy of uh, Mr. Pettit's letter? Yes, I received it. Yes. sidewalk on Union Avenue, which are in disrepair and were recommended to be replaced. We had in there, um, you know, whether or not the board should be willing to consider extending um, sidewalk around the, the balance of the property, but there's really no other sidewalk on our shoulder, so I don't know that that's necessary, but I think replacing the existing damaged sidewalk would, would be appropriate. Um, we asked that the applicant provide testimony on whether the, the existing well and will remain. It will. You've indicated that the subdivision will be filed by D. Right? Yes. Okay, so will need legal descriptions and the deeds provided to my office, the, the borough, and the solicitor's office for review. Um, we need approval from their copy of the tax assessor's approval for the new lot numbers. Um, and then the last comment we had was a uh, comment that the borough engineer asked us to include in all the subdivisions that there may be fees associated with adjusting the uh, tax maps to reflect the new subdivisions. So we just make the applicant aware of that. And then under outside agency approvals, we just, we just need approval from the candidate county for the board. And that's the extent of our review comments. The plan has to be revised, John, to show the uh, uh, setback lines? That's yeah. what we're requesting. Can oh, okay. I understand that, sir? So what you need is I guess my only question is that I'm not sure where they're going to, they're actually going to put the uh, uh, the house, so the setback lines where the existing house can be done. Uh, but that, well, well they're, just the required setbacks. The required setbacks. If they, whoever builds the house, then would have to, if they are if they were a bulk variance, they would have to come before the board. At least it's on the subdivision map where the uh, <coughs> the, the, um, the setbacks are delineated. Okay, so okay. the envelope of the house would be whatever was left over. Right. Okay. If they want to go beyond that envelope, they have to come before us. Okay. If you have Mr. Clancy, give me a call. You know, I work with Jim a lot on different things. So. Okay. And just remind you, if the board grants the approval, you got to get your deeds in for review and recorded within 190 days. Hey John, I just wanted to make one one suggestion to you. I visited the site and uh, just for a matter of there are people living in there now. No. Okay. Not since my mother passed away last year. I know you have a for sale sign on it, but believe it or not, if you have it on the MLS listing, there's no house number on the house. There's no mailbox number. If you, if you look at the MLS, if someone's going to move them out of town to look at that property. If your house is burning down, you might want to put some. Or was it 320 or something? 360. 360. I just. Yeah, that's. That's the house right now. That's a big problem. No. I'm just saying, if somebody from out of 
town wanted to come look at it and check it out on the weekend. Where's the where's the city? How did you find it? Um, I'm, I'm, the last I'm, one, the last <laughs> one, 355 across the road, right? I've lived in town for years. <laughs> and I don't have any questions. I think it's, I, I do agree with John that the uh, sidewalk is in the district there. Now's the time to get that into the, you know, into the approvals. But for the most part, the rest of it's just woods. Yeah, so, yeah. so we're not going to base it, we're not going to require to fix that now, just when they come in and build the house? No, I, I would put that as part of his um, subdivision approval. Do you hear anything about the building on the sidewalk now? Okay. Yeah. Well, if, if he gets the sidewalk repaired before we sign off on the deeds, then it's not. Right. Otherwise, it's a condition of approval, and it's a matter of how do you, how do you make sure that that gets satisfied. Right. You post the bond. Right. I agree with you. So, not going to require that? Right at the corner, I know that it's been deteriorating for some years. Absolutely. If you give me a call, uh, my number's on the letter. We can meet you out in the field. Okay. I have, like I said, I was there, and uh, for the most part, this wooded area that they're trying to subdivide. So I think it can only be an improvement. Thank you. 
be better off and that the town would be better off because it's been sitting empty for a number of years now that we've been trying to sell it uh, because it's, it's a commercial property and uh, there's just no, no takers for something like an application for a commercial enterprise. Um, well, it's owned commercial now. Is it for general yes. office or commercial? It's commercial, isn't it? I believe it's owned commercial, but I was looking at the map and it might be general office. Okay. Uh, so, because um, it is right on the Clements Bridge Road. Our thinking was if, if we could, I, that's why I called earlier and asked what was uh, involved with turning it back into a house and putting a family in there. There used to be an insurance person in your State Farm. State Farm insurance? Yeah, unfortunately I don't have the history. And I know another, another person was in front of us once. They wanted to put it. Karate school. Karate school, remember? No, I think a flower shop is what I told you. Oh, that was the one next to the JFK club. Did you say it's Lindsay in Clemensburg? Yeah, right on the floor. Or, or, or Lynn Lee. Is it the side closest to the pipe? Uh, it's right on the floor. Right on the floor. Right on the floor. Right on the floor. The opposite corner from the air. On the same side, but the opposite corner is the air. So the opposite side of the pipe. Yes. Commercial. Right here. 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 So what I told him, he would probably have to do, he would have to get a use variance, and unless uh, residential is permitted in a C1 district, which I don't think it is, it's not a non-conforming use anymore because it's been abandoned for more than six months. So I, I think that's what you wanted to do, try to market it residential. Yeah, we, we think we, I mean, we, you know, lower the price or lower, we, we really we can't give it away. And they wanted and, to you know, we just like to sell it. Or if they, I, I think that the, uh, the determination is general office, isn't it? Oh, excuse, excuse me, sir. Yes. You'd like you to you can put the mic out here so you don't have to break your neck here. Okay. You Thank you. No, you're on the you're on the one exact corner. Floor. You're on the right. other side of it. Right. Yeah, so there are so that's right. And that's general office, yes. It's general office. Right. So he, if to, to yeah. you, I use it as a resident, Mr. Chairman. He would have to get a use variance. Okay. Uh, what the procedurally, he just couldn't get a use variance and then not use it because it would expire in six months. So if he sold it, what he wants to know, I think, is if if he got a buyer that wanted to use it for a resident, a, a personal home, then that person would have to come in, apply for a use variance. What the feeling of the board would be whether they would be in agreement to allow that to be used, to give use variance to allow permit residential use of that particular I think structure. it lends itself towards, and I don't remember exactly the, the situation, but if it's GO and you want to put a residence, if it's the property owner that's in the residence, yeah, that I don't could, think yeah, that could be, if it's in. But if it's, it's going to be, so otherwise, I think you need you need a variance. It has to meet a lot of different criteria. Yeah, you would need a you you would need a bear, a, a, a use variance. And I guess that's what it, is that what you're asking? What the what the board's feeling would be to allow? Yeah, and just I guess start the process. You know, as the owners of the property, what would be the process, and you know how to get the ball rolling, and uh, and then to get you know realtor on board. Is that under listing with any realtor at the present time? Yeah. Uh, uh, Dennis Vanilla for senior year has had it for like the last uh, uh, 12 months and uh, has done successful. What, what abuts your property, sir? What abuts it? Yeah. Uh, there's a home immediately to the back. And, and then next was, was like a dentist's office. It used to be, but now there's something else going on there. And across, and across the street from you is the airhood. Then there's that auto art and sign garage that's now closed down. And then it's residential. Yeah. Homes. Yeah, everybody So for the most part, it's already homes back there. Yes. Except for what's right on the corner. Right? Yeah. I get better than at the building. So. But we certainly want to do everything, you know, the exact and right way. 
I mean, you have a residence right next to you, don't you? Yeah, we do. Yeah, right next to you is this already a residence. So I think <coughs> is there any driveway, off-street parking there? No, there's not. But I've I've driven the property, you know, to check on it and do things. I've never so anybody, is, uh, anybody that's going to live there has to park on the street, right? Yeah, but there's yes, yeah, that's correct. But I think there's a couple other houses that have the same circumstance. Well, I don't know sure. whether that fits the criteria for residence. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's what, he's, that's what he's asking. And that would be part of the application for the use variance that they would have to demonstrate to the board that there's adequate parking facilities, whether it's on the street or they're going to build a driveway. You'd have to bring them. Well, what I would do if it was me, I would bring the realtor to give testimony that he's had it up for sale for a year. There's nobody interested in his commercial, you know, that the best use is residential. There's no guarantee. Like you're, you're, it looks like you're in a residential. Right next to you is a residence. Yeah, right next to a home. Yes, yeah. it, this was a home actually. Yeah, if you look at it, you can see it. Yeah. John, do you have to go for ten walks? Yeah, all it says is. I know it requires a lot of square footage too. All it says is general office uses for professional and commercial offices. The office use must be seventy-five percent of the total floor area. So that's that's a specific, specific city, city, city. City. You're looking at a single residence? Yeah, yeah. single residence is yeah. Yeah. not no, a duplex. No parkings, none of that. Just one home to sell to one family, and hopefully we'll be happy on that street. But I think what he's asking for is just to convert the whole building back to a residence. I'm going to between the hair between his property and uh, the uh, right out there. There's a commercial business in there, but I don't know what they do. So, so if we were to go ahead with make an application to for use variance to turn it back to residence, we could do that now. As the no, no, no. Because well, what I can see on the on the, yeah. on the map is a very very narrow piece of land. Looks like it might only be. If you about 30, 40 foot wide. What's the size of the property? Is. Uh, I have it right back here. Okay. Yeah, so you can come to the back Yeah, so you can come to the back word. It's a 42 by 121. Hey, would you look at that? What is this? The whole MLS. 42 by 121. 42 in the front frontage and 121 deep. Yeah, 121 deep. Along Lindsay and 42 on frontage bridge. Okay. Because I know that building isn't no 100 foot long, so it looks like you're coming in here. Yeah, I, 
you, I would, if you got in a, a, an agreement of sale, and then it could be the agreement could be contingent upon either you getting the use variance or the person that's buying it. You know, they they apply for the use variance. But could I get the use variance and then and just then sell it? Is, and then, you know, and build a no, new home or whatever. To, no, because see, the thing. use variance, you, you have to start occupying, right? If you were going to get a use variance and you were going to occupy it, you, you come in and say, well, I want to occupy this, and this is, uh, and then you could market it as a, a you know, as a, a non-conforming use property, but you can't, they just can't give you the use variance and then you sit on it for a couple of years until you, you sell the house as residential. Can you list it as a residential? Can you list it on MLS? No, well, you could list it like this, C1, commercial, and possibility yeah. of residential use. And then if somebody's interested, say, yeah, there's a positive. It's in C1, you have to get a, yeah. have to get a, a, a use variance, or I'll get the use variance for you. And you can list it, I think you can list it like that. Yeah, yeah, possible. There's no harm in listing it with a contingency. Yeah, yeah. possible uh, residential use. It's a shame when you list if you if you were to list something as a residential with the possibility of commercial use to their school. Right. Yeah, my, my parents' room, for instance, was like a cool area. Okay. Yeah. And if they were to sell it, they could list it as a possible commercial area. They're like an attorney's office could be inside the home. But the board would want to hear from a realtor, listen, I tried to market this place for twelve months and we don't have a shop. My opinion is the best use is residential. I, mean, I, I stumbled upon the Forsini Realty Company. Yeah, 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 they say they can buy for a single family. Not looking there. Yeah, they want to have multiple. Okay. Thank you. So, well, so, so as far as like, like sending letters to the neighbors and all that kind of stuff, I won't do any of well, that. You, you can't not, do I mean, now. I'll do that eventually. Right not now. That's okay. part of the application process. Okay. So right now we can just sort of they say that we, it's possible to do it. Yeah, that's good. It's good advice, Dave. You should get an attorney help you. Yeah. All right. If you know anybody wants a nice house for like ninety thousand or something, there. <laughs> really appreciate it. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you all. Yeah. Any other business to come before the board, Madam Secretary? Any other business to come before the board? <laughs> Motions in order to adjourn. Second. Second. Good night, everyone. See you guys. Good night. 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 Good night